Hi students, myself Jay Prakash and you are watching VSIT Max Tutorial. Today I am going to teach you about uh, the concepts related to factorization of class 8th standard. Okay, factorization. What do you mean by factorization? Before knowing a factorization, we should be aware of what exactly a factor is. Okay, factor. What do you mean by a factor? Let us think we have two numbers something like you know, A and B. If A divides B completely that is remainder should be 0 then we can say that A is the factor of B. Okay. Let me write the definition here. If we have two numbers if there is if there are two numbers A and B and if A divides B completely, that is remainder should be remainder is equal to zero, then A is said to be factor of B okay as yes, see here if there are two numbers A and B and if A divides B if A divides B completely then A is said to be a factor of B let me take an example example let a is equal to 10 and b is equal to uh, 50 ok now what we have to do we have to divide a so we have to divide b with a how we will be get, what you will be getting the answer see 10 a has to divide b so 10 has to divide 50 10 Pfizer 50 and the remainder is 0 therefore we can say that 10 is the factor of 50 and one more thing here what we need to observe is see 10 5s are 50 if that is the case if you take this 5 as a divisor 5 tens are 50 therefore you can say that see here 5 is the divisor and here 5 is the quotient so if 10 divides 50 completely you will be getting something a quotient here that quotient is also will be the factor to the dividend therefore divisor and quotient are the factors of dividend okay that is so a, here for our uh, example a and b we have here a and b a is 10 and b is 50 a divides 50 completely so that we can say a is the factor of b if you take example something like uh, a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 25 if you divide 25 with 4, 4 6 are 24 and you will be getting here remainder 1. Therefore, the remainder is not equal to 0. We cannot say that 4 as the factor of 25. So, if and only if A divides B completely, that is the remainder should be equal to 0. Then we can say that A is the factor of B understood so that is what the factor factor means if there are two numbers a and b and if a divides b completely we can say that a as the factor of b okay now let us see what exactly a factorization is okay factorization the process of representing a number in terms of in terms of product of its factors Okay, example. 
see we know what exactly a factor is okay now let me write factors for one particular number something like uh, uh, 20 what are the factors of 20 means the numbers which divides 20 completely then we can say that the number as factor now one divides 20 completely with remainder 0 and even 2 divides 20 completely with remainder 0 that is 2 tens are 20 so 10 times 2 now 3 can't 4 4 five times 20 remainder will be 0 5 4 times 20 so remainder will be 0 and next you will be getting 10 so 10 divides 20 two times so that you will be getting remainder 0 and last is 20 see these are all the factors of 20 okay now what do you mean by factorization now see representing this number in terms of product of the factors okay now now see here i can write 20 in terms of something like 1 into 20 1 into 20 20 yes so this is called this procedure is called factorization i can write the same 20 as see 4 into 5 Four five is a twenty, or we can write two into ten. Is it not? So if you write again four into oh, sorry five into four, one and the same. If you write ten into two, two into ten, both are one and the same. One into twenty, or twenty into one. These two are also one and the same. Okay. What else maybe? See, representing a number in terms of a product of their terms, sorry, their factors. Something like see here, twenty is represented in the multiple multiples of one factor of twenty, twenty factor of twenty. See here, four and five. We have written in the multiples of four and five. See, four is the factor of twenty, five is the factor of twenty, and here ten and two. Okay. 2 is the factor of 20 and 10 is the factor of 20 2 tens are 20 this is called factorization okay and coming to the part of our chapter see we are not going to discuss uh, maximum on uh, general and numerical terms we are going to discuss on expressions okay now yes you know how an expression looks like how an expression looks like like example for an expression 20 is an example x is an example xy is an example x square plus 2x is an example and so on so we can have innumerable examples for the expression okay now how to factorize the expressions okay factorization you know means writing a number in terms of multiples of its factors okay now if that is the case what do we have factors for these let us see by taking each and every uh, example okay now let for 20 we have seen already something like we can write 1 into 20 2 into 10 4 into 5 is it not yes if that is the case what about x x can be written in the form of 1 into x 1 x is equal to x so apart from that you can't write other values okay now if you take x and y we can write it in terms of 1 into xy 1 xy is our xy x into y x into y you will be getting x y here see same 1 into 20 1 20 is our 20 2 10 is our 20 4 5 is our 20 same here 1 x our x coming to the part of xy 1 into xy is xy or otherwise one more a different way x into y that is xy so same like that we can write for different expressions okay how to write like you know uh, factors and how to factorize a uh, expression how to uh, factorize an expression